They do more than just make you throw out your shaving cream. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the top 5 facts about airport security. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Given that the rules and regulations vary greatly depending on the country, we'll be focusing our attention on American Airport Security, also known as the Transportation Security Administration, or TSA for short. Number 5, the TSA is pretty new. It's a little inconvenient, but um, I think it's I think they're on the right page and it's it's doing what it's supposed to do. Airport security has been around for decades, but the TSA specifically was only created following the 2001 September 11th attacks. Before that, private security companies used to handle airport security, but for obvious reasons, this system was re-evaluated in the wake of such a catastrophic event. Originally created as a branch of the Department of Transportation, by 2003 the TSA had been transferred to the Department of Homeland Security. The working principle of the TSA, from its inception, has been to protect US transportation, with an emphasis on preventing airplane hijackings. Number 4. Learn the 311 rule for an easy time at security. Well, I think it's okay if they're not open. We all know that there are limitations as to what you can now pack in your carry on luggage, but with the stress of prepping for a trip, it can be easy to forget exactly what's allowed and what'll get thrown out. Mad Magazine? That's cute. That's not mine. The TSA wants to help you remember with their 311 rule. 3.4 ounces is the maximum size your toiletry products can be. They have to be put in a one quart sized clear bag, i.e. a freezer sized ziplock, and you're only allowed to have one of these bags per traveler. If you follow these rules, you won't have to worry about being forced to leave your favorite products behind. Number 3. TSA agents are held to a high standard. Not so fast, Richard. Right. Okay. Though the preliminary requirements are relatively basic, being a TSA agent comes with a lot of responsibility. It's about constant vigilance and frequent evaluation. Once you're hired with the TSA, you'll have to make it through 100 hours of on-the-job training, consisting of 40 classroom hours and 60 hours of on-site employee shadowing. The training is fundamental uh, to an organization. It's fundamental to building culture, it's fundamental to building connection, and it's fundamental to building consistency. The agents are then tested on a frequent basis to be sure that they're alert, attentive, and most importantly, aware of the latest rules and regulations. Since technology is constantly changing, TSA employees have to be trained to detect all manners of threats. And we're teaching people not to react to their emotions. Number two, prohibited items don't necessarily need to be abandoned. You can't bring this knife here. Here are your other knives back. The list of items banned from carry-on luggage by the TSA is extensive. It ranges from the logical, like knives and firearms, to the more obscure, like vehicle airbags and foam toy swords. The things caught most often, though, are the personal items that exceed the 3.4 ounce maximum volume designated by the TSA. Most people think they have to give up these items, but in fact, it's entirely your choice what you do with them. If permitted, the item can be put in your checked luggage or be returned to your car. The only issue is that you may not have the time to make the trek if your flight is departing imminently. Hold that plane! Sir, you, you can't go in there! It's okay! I'm a limo driver! Number one, the TSA is serious about their lost and found. It's like a museum of cell phone. Considering the regulations that force airline passengers to empty their pockets, remove all electronics from bags, and take off their shoes and belts, it's inevitable that things can get lost in the fray. Considering approximately 2 million people pass through TSA checkpoints every day, the lost and found at each individual airport has to be well organized. The TSA prides themselves on being able to return items to passengers and encourages flyers to contact them if they think they may have lost something while at a security checkpoint. I came over here to Lost the Town and these nice gentlemen found my job on. So which of these facts did you find the most interesting? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.